The stock market is a term that we give to the trading of stocks or bonds. Merriam-Webster describes the stock as a system for buying and selling stocks or a place where a stock is uh, bought or sold. A stock is a share of a company that can be bought or sold at different prices depending on how the stock is doing. I'm going to inform you about the stock market, how the stock market works, some history of the stock market, and how yourself can start investing in it. A company puts itself into the stock market when they need capital. Companies share their, uh, sell their shares of their company exchange for money. Shares are small pieces of a company that are sold at different prices depending on many different variables. These variables include a value of the company, the quantity of the share sold, the percentage of the piece of the share, and what is going on in the world when it was sold. These are just some of the most common factors that go into the price of the stock. Let's say you have 50 shares of a, a stock at company XYZ, and you buy it at 225 a share. You hold for a week, and by the end of the week, it rises up and goes to 250. This would be a profit of $12.50 because you went from $112.50 to $125. If you ever heard of the stock market, you probably heard of the New York Stock Exchange or NYSE. This is the biggest stock market for. This is the biggest system for stock trading. Companies such as Yahoo, Apple, and Microsoft would be examples of companies that would be a part of the New York Stock Exchange. There are many other stock platforms to do trading on, although the New York Stock Exchange would be the greatest of them all. And here is a. This is the site NewYorkStockExchange.com. It, it, here's the uh, list of companies major corporations, and here's the volume of the uh, shares that are sold, the last price of the share that was sold, and the change of the money, the, what it went from, like uh, SUNE, I don't know what company that is, but use that for example, it went down 4 cents, um, and now it is at $1.28. The history of the stock market starts all the way back in 1531 in Antwerp, Belgium. Brokers and moneylenders meet there to deal in business, government, and even individual debt issues. During this time, the actual stock market had not formed, but is where it began. The moneylenders would uh, give money to companies, owners, for return of the profits. Investopedia says, in the 1600s, the Dutch, British, and French governments all gave charters to companies from East India in their names. On the cusp of imperialism time point, it seemed like everyone had a stake in the profits from the East India's East Indies and Asia, except the people living there. Sea voyages that brought back uh, goods from Asia were extremely risky on account of like pirates and stuff that would attack a seal. There were more common risks of uh, weather uh, and poor navigation, though, besides those. Another example of early investing that I believe will help you understand the risk that goes into investing stocks will be the investing of Queen Isabel uh, that was. Queen Isabel funded uh, Christopher Columbus' travel looking for a trade route to Asia. That investment led to a whole uh, discovery of a whole new continent and an enormous profit for the Queen. I think this shows that things could go either way because it was kind of a shot in the dark for the Queen. <clears throat> in the past, we've seen the stock market crash. These crashes are usually caused by a mass panic of people fearing the loss of, of all their money. The largest crash was the Wall Street crash of 1929. During this crash, millions of people lost all of their money. This crash contributed greatly to the Great Depression. To begin investing in stocks, you must first need to give yourself a beginning allowance. This could be anywhere from $20 to $5,000, or any, any amount really. It is recommended by most to start out small and gain some ex experience by the companies you invest in. You should start out by searching for companies that you think may be able to raise the profits or value. If the value of the company's stock increases, you can sell out and make a profit. On the other end, if the company's value diminishes and you sell out before it goes up again, then you're going to lose money. After researching the stocks you would like to begin investing, then you basically have two options. First, go to a stockbroking firm and they can have, you can have a stockbroker to help you. Or second, do it yourself online. Uh, there are many different online stockbroking companies, including TD Ameritrade, E-Trade, Offense House, and Scott Trade, just to name a few. Using these websites, they, uh, they may take out some of the profit that you make, but it's like a really easy setup for anybody who wants to start investing. The stock market is a crazy, fast-paced game of money that you need to stay on your feet for. It can be a wonderful way to invest your money, but it also could cause you to lose a lot as well. 
It is a very intricate system with some winners and many losers. It is advice to anyone who wants to start investing uh, to learn their money, to be skilled and uh, be able to evaluate a company for what it is. The history of the stock market is long and ongoing and will continue to go on at least until it possibly crashes again. I hope this information tells you how simple it can be to begin investing in the stock market also. Thank you.